This is Ray's Magnetic Circuitry, Part 6, Flapper. I have not covered the flapper. In my designs, every component has a purpose towards over-unity effects. This is what I cover in my video, Over-Unity Designs, Reactions, Effects. The flapper is a magnet that is placed on a bar, able to flap freely. When brought into the area of another magnet, those two interacting fields cause a special reaction with the flapper. This is a quarter inch a one inch by one inch neo magnet, very powerful. We'll be covering the reactions of the flapper in this video. If I take a bearing, an iron bearing, and bring it close to that magnet, there's an attraction. I'm breaking down the complete cycle into two halves. The first half cycle is an overunity event. There is a force gain coming in. I call that the overunity force gain the first half. The second half of the cycle is to reset. The force is equal and opposite, resulting in no gain for a complete cycle. This is where most overunity event or uh, devices that use magnets fail. They can be attracted and produce power, but then when it tries to reset, it sticks or it grips and it cannot move freely out of that. So let's see for experimentation what kind of forces are we talking about in this particular setup. I have a netting. I'll take my ounce measuring device and the ounces are on the uh, right side. It quickly goes up to the max three pound. Okay. I have another Measuring meter, it goes up to 15 pounds. There's four. It's starting to rip it out. Six, about six. It's just ripping it out. So we have at least six pounds of force. That is fairly strong. So we have a problem. What if what if we could bring in and have a force gain but then when we go to reset, there is no force loss. We have a force gain, but now we can reset it. Very easily. So we have a, a gain, but no loss in resetting. 
So we always have a plus element, which is the over unity, being produced. Now how, how am I doing that? What's going on? Well, this is to show what an over-unity event should look like if you're making one or working toward one. I just have another ball. This is non-magnetic. The other one is magnetic. But this is showing the principle behind what you want to work towards. You want to work to have a force gain, but no force loss. This is where the flapper comes into play. Any system where the flapper magnet is activated and the reset is very minimal or less in ratio. There is grounds for an over unity operation. I've set up a design. I've not made a video of it. Uh, but it's very efficient. It's very clean. Uh, very easy to make. It only has two magnets to the whole system. It is not self uh, resetting you have to bring it out of the field to have it reset but besides that very very efficient shows over unity measurements so you can see that it's in line with the top of the magnet and the flapper is out about one inch so so here we're coming in i'm going to hold the flapper from firing we get it in place and we have a strong firing that is my force gain. But unlike the ball that locks and holds and grips, this does not. It comes away very easily. I'm ready for the next cycle. So this is a very nice design. And the principle behind it is offsetting the magnets. If you have the magnet <laughs> right there, it's going to lock in but we're using us uh, one of the principles i've covered second story magnetics in in a sense and also offsetting so, uh, so there's no direct interaction there's a secondary offset uh, reaction that's where the over unity is coming from so i hope you enjoyed this i wanted to cover the flapper for a while it's very unique, uh, more than just meets the eye. It's more be below the surface on this. It is actually all gain. The system comes in and any uh, force that is gaining, a force gain, that's, that's actually over unity. It's negative readings. Mostly on a generator, you have a magnet that's being forced through other magnetic fields. You have a force, like a generator is forcing a coil through a field, magnetic field. This is not forcing anything. It is coming in and complete pure firing, pulling, a force gain only. A great difference. So, hope you enjoyed this. And happy inventing.